Jeff has played a vital role in international waters. As you know, there is no international convention like we have for biodiversity and climate change and so on. So Jeff, from an international governance perspective, it's been the real um, shaker and mover when it comes to trying to accomplish things and improve the way international waters are managed and governed. International waters and the problems related with international waters are enormous and issue is, you know, it, it goes in any facet of, of, of our lives. So what I've seen in, in the last uh, six year, years is community growing. I think that these last 20 years uh, TF built a network of different uh, international water bodies uh, and this means network of institutions working in a common interest to promote inter integrated water management. They've developed a cadre of people that are committed to sort of integrated ocean management and freshwater management. So I think the people component is very important. But I would see GEF as a mechanism bringing people together, bringing experts together, bringing governments together also. A GEF project has uh, assisted the countries to look at a marine environment problem in a more uh, integrated way through the, through the TDA-SAP process. GEF has managed to actually link the, the sort of three factors that relate to, uh, to our environment and the, and the use of it. And that is the actual environment itself, the biotic community that interacts with it, and in our particular case, how the hydrological cycle fits into that. I think Jeff has done really well to make things co cohesive. I like the fact that International Waters has become um, identifiably regional. I think apart from just the science that has been produced and uh, all of those good outcomes that are more scientific based, I think it has really actually made people aware of what the issues are and they've actually allowed people to start you know, speaking up about them. I believe that the main contribution is to support regional uh, cooperation to minimize pressure and impacts uh, on the common water body as you know, the, the issues change very often, so um, I think um, GEF achievement is just the, uh, uh, the adaptability of, uh, of uh, <coughs> its operation. We've seen some really exciting new developments. We've managed to create a framework of really managing the ecosystem rather than looking at small piecemeal actions, and I think it's really made some significant steps forward. They were able to humanize the technical and scientific results um, achieved by our experts and then they made it more understandable to to the layman, to policy makers, to the private sector, to the academic sector and also to young people. Every country which has participated in that program for the last 10 years has developed the capacity in people and systems to monitor the state of the environment and also to use that knowledge in integrating into the national development planning. Without a Jeff intervention, um, I think the, the convention process would have been a bit more slower, the industry engagement and, and championing would have been a bit more slower, but I think uh, the Jeff intervention uh, made a big impact and the results are very obvious now. Because of its significant inputs into global environmental agendas and as a result of that plus Quite frankly, a lot of on-the-ground measures that we're seeing now being implemented, much more so than before, um, which are identifiable with people at the community level as well as the governments. Uh, there is not only an awareness being raised, but also impact being felt by, by individuals.